Goose stuff. Goose? She kind of thinks maybe she should come along. Yeah, she's gonna need a track for us. So. Right. Hopefully. Hopefully. Nail them? I think. I don't really know where it is. Looks perfect. I, I think it was between them again. Perfect hard shot, huh? Ooh. Good on 30. Not good at 20. What was that? Did it not fly good? No. She did a different one. I mean, I felt, I don't know. Good at 20. Yeah. Pretty good, right? Or is it too low? I think you're good. Okay, cool. I do gotta get this hair out of my face though. Nice and low. Yeah. Just like that, that's good. I'm trying to get Crystal to have better aiming habits than I had when I first started bow hunting. I kind of aimed like right towards the middle. Low was better, especially hey, for... Zach and I had a long conversation this spring. Did you? Yeah, I think it was this spring or maybe it was in Iowa. Yeah. And he said just aim low. So, I'm doing that. All right, you want to tell your dog she can come up here? That's a goose dog. That was a goose dog this morning, weren't you? She's tiny, but she's getting the hang of... Carrying a big heavy goose back. Yeah. She's so precious. She's a killer is what she is. She's a ruthless killer. Yeah. There's a deer. I don't think so. They're on the move. Oh yeah. Just as I thought. Oh god, yeah. Please, yeah, Olivia's playing though, so if we could just keep the talking to a minimum. <laughs> keep that same mindset as what you had in Texas when you got mad at me for shooting a pig. It's beautiful. Got a couple chairs slung over my shoulder. Crystal and I are headed in to hopefully kill our first animal with a bow. We tried it down in Texas, tried to get her hog, but didn't quite get close enough and I robbed her a little bit there. Gonna head to the property where we do most of our gun hunting. We don't do too much bow hunting here just because there's not too many trees we can sit in. And we just kind of like leaving it alone until gun season, but we got quite a few does around here, so I'm just gonna set up on the ground on whatever side makes most sense. Hopefully something comes feeding down into what used to be the yard here. A couple new developments since last fall. We actually took our old trailer home down. That was kind of sad, but it was time for it to go. And we kind of converted the yard into more of a place to hunt than just a place where we mowed. It made more sense to do that, we figured, just because we hunt up here more than anything. So we figured we might as well make the whole thing habitat. Hey, easy on the pants there. Just don't walk with your legs together. So we got a little food plot in the yard. And probably gonna let the rest of it grow up. Or the deer hopefully bed right in the yard here. Or what used to be the yard. narrows down there and I think we're gonna have to walk across and sit by the river with this wind. I would go now because the wind's kind of drifting along the river here. I would plan on shooting them right out in front of you there in that little gap to the left of the tree cage. Yeah, right up there.
Obviously, we went to saw us, you know. But the wind blowing the way it is, we can't sit over there. Otherwise, she would have smelled us by the time she got within range. Just had to try to make it work. But you did good. Okay, good. Is there anything you'd do differently? You think?
was standing over there. Did you see that? It's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I thought. I guess they could have been in my brain. I was so scared. I was so shaken up when he came out. I closed the wrong eye to try to like, look at my. Yeah, I can't see anything. Yeah. I forgot I was wearing this. <laughs> well, that thing stood there forever. He come in pretty much straight downwind of us. Or he was gonna get straight downwind of us. Crystal shot him in the last opening before he was gonna. But he fed on apples over there and then he was just browsing. I trimmed a bunch of this stuff here. You can see it used to be the same height as that. Deer have really been browsing on it. Oh, we're all twisted up here. <laughs> My leg was starting to sleep. We think she might have hard shot him. Her arrow's buried in the ground over there. And we heard him cough right after he disappeared there. I was hoping he'd fall down right there when he stopped. I thought he was gonna. I looked at the shot on the camera and it's a little far forward maybe if anything. If, if it's either in his brisket or she shot probably the front of his heart and a bunch of arteries that go off of it, which I guess we'll find out here. It looked like a bunch of saliva went flying out of his mouth after he turned to run over there. Then I maybe could see blood going down his opposite leg in some of that footage when I watched it too, but what do you think? Okay, so here are what my thoughts are. I don't like having to wait. <laughs> that's why a lot of people like turkey hunting. Yeah, I think that's... Especially with a gun. You shoot like, in the head and they're flopping. I, this is only the second time in my life I've ever had to wait any t other time. Like, they drop in front of me. It's <laughs> definitely the stressful thing about Boma. Yeah, so I don't know if I was necessarily prepared for that. I think you might have gone. I don't know, don't say that quite yet. I'm pretty nervous. Is that your open right there? You shot, and I was just like, waiting this. <laughs> no, I feel like I shot, and I was able to like pull my head away and then see him go through. <laughs> they say you want to look for bubbles, huh? Is that what they say? I feel like I've heard Dad say that once or twice. Like right here, like on the white, you can see it, right? Bubbly. That was our tree there. And he ran that way. Yeah, it's coming out pretty good, especially for being right out. Crystal, I'm feeling a little better about this. Okay, good, me too. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you every time I see her? You can just say blood. Especially in the sand. No, okay. This is what I kind of wanted, so I'm glad. <laughs> is it going to be embarrassing if I cry? No. Okay. You can see his track there. You see where it's oh, a little yeah. fresher? Yeah. Right here's the Just because there's moisture in it like that. Yeah. Keep it easy here, just in case he's laying. Dang it. I mean, not dang it. He's dead right here. Yeah. 
150 yards. Just a monster of a buck. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that that was him for sure blowing us. I was like, no, he's not gonna die if he's sitting there blowing us. I was like, I see what you're shining at light in my eye, and then I, like, I couldn't see your face at all, and then I hear you start laughing, so, <laughs> like, I had no idea, you are just. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing at the deer was getting away. I didn't know what was happening. Wow, that's cool, huh? He's done good since we ran over here. You think? Yeah, it's stiff. I thought that was a bed back there, but that was just a... Uh, he must have been like He stood there. Wobbly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see how he's not, like his legs aren't under him? Yeah. He just came over here and he tipped right over there. Sure, sure. Which is exactly So he wasn't you know. laying down. Yeah, he didn't have to sit there at all and suffer okay. anything. Wow, Jake. Nice job. That was a far ways, I feel like. Yeah, I was worried. Stop, no, you worried. I was trying to hide it. Because I didn't want to run in the moment for you, but no, it you got, went way further than I figured. As soon as I heard that other deer blowing at us, the moment was ruined for me. I'd not be surprised if you even hit up in the heart. I think you just probably hit the arteries that come off the front of it. We'll have to really? do a autopsy. That's scary. But I mean, I liked it. I mean, I definitely want to yeah. do it again. There's this is like a delayed excitement. Unless you see him fall over, which right. I thought we were going to say when he stopped there. I was just like, he's about to go down because yeah. I didn't see exactly where you hit him. And I still don't know exactly where you hit him. But wow. first time shooting at something with a bow. Literally, the first time I've ever shot at something that was alive. And you've hunted a lot. Really, I was thinking about yesterday. You've probably hunted I mean, it's been three 14 years. days, I bet, total. Uh, yeah, three seasons of yeah. it, yeah. Three seasons of like getting out here and there, you kind of, kind of eased into it the first year. Yeah. And, which is good, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think about it, though? I'm, I'm, I think I'm still trying to like gather myself because like, I don't know, that was stressful for me and then I could, I think I, I could tell you were sure. getting worried. Yeah, I thought for sure that he was sitting over there blowing ass. I'm like... I thought so too. And then I was like, oh no. And then I... I, could, I thought from the shot, just looking at... Uh, maybe give him some light over here. You can see this is where it come out. It's okay. Like, it's just like, that's in his brisket. But those broadheads are so sharp. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine any arteries that they contacted coming off that heart, they just severed them. So like... He got toe up. <laughs> he did, and there was a lot of blood, just because it's like at the bottom of his chest cavity, so it was just kind of pouring out the bottom of him. Like, mm -hmm. Most blood trails are way more tedious than that. Like we pretty See, much just what, were able to power walk up here. That's what made me feel good about it, because like I feel like I've seen so many different things where it's like, like you'll find a, like a little drop of blood and then you'll go forever without yeah, seeing another. Yeah, that's the edited version of it. Right. We could see it from like five yards away. We could see the blood, I yeah. feel like consistently. Yeah. So that made me feel good, but then once I started hearing that, other deer blowing at us, I was like, like I lost all hope. I'm like, no, but I'm pumped. Yeah, it was fun. Get him drug out of here. That's gonna be your job. I think we can just take him right to the river and throw him right in the canoe. Okay, good. Get right to the... oh, oh my god, I'm not gonna be much help. Dragonflies. Oh yeah. Where's the river? Right How do we accomplish this? Like that. Oh my god. You guys are in Italy? <laughs> yeah. Can you sing me a song like they do? You do feel like you're in Italy? Oh, tree. Oh, oh. She's cool. She's chill. Do I look cool and chill right now? Right oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that just really scared me. Now I get her just like the bottom of the sun. <laughs> oh, I could probably stop recording now. <laughs> I'm just a hungry, hungry hippo and I broke the bone. <laughs> I feel worse that it's probably held a lot of deer and it couldn't hold me. <laughs> She loves to hold the bone, <laughs> and she loves to break the bone. I sold the meal, my Jacob meal. I rode my boat, I sold the meal.